choice of deciding what yeshiva to go to is a very, very critical choice. And the reason that we think that we have a special yeshiva is because in addition to getting good, solid learning skills and really be able to develop yourself, you're going to be able to make real relationships with Rebbeim that will last an entire lifetime. What makes a student so successful is the staff's ability to shine the light and give each student their attention that they need. The Rebbeim are always there for us. I have a problem with us with anything about in yeshiva, I can always go to them and you always feel that they're going to help you. To be able to talk to a rabbi about anything is a great feeling. You might not be able to relate to your parents well, but you're able to talk to a rabbi and he is your helping hand throughout the way. My job in AJ is really to be here for the guys. That means the uh, have them for the Shabbos meals, the Malava Malkas, go on the trips with them, the late night talks. If you could have a one-on-one -on -one relationship, if you could have a Rebbe to guide you through Shaduchim, through employment, through the major decisions in life, that's where we feel that our vision for the yeshiva really lies. The yeshiva is like a family, and Rabbi Shabunowitz is like the father. And because you're getting such small showroom, there's six or seven uh, people to a rabbi. The rabbi knows exactly what, uh, what level I'm holding in terms of learning, in terms of growing myself. They know what I need. They really teach you how to learn, cope with other people here. Being in AJ really teaches you the building blocks for life. And it's not just about taking boys, throwing them in base medrash and opening up a Gemara. But they believe serious learning, but at the same time, the boys, serious play, serious ball, serious to limb. It's all part of the experience. And uh, the more the boys bond together and the more the boys relax together, the better they learn together. It's a wonderful experience being in the country, first of all. It's a strong connection here between the Rebbeim and the Tamidim. To leave Chutzler is behind the unique spiritual atmosphere of Eretz Israel in general, of Yishalayim in particular has a tremendous impact on them, and we give them the ability and the means to be able to fill the impact to its utmost. It's an environment like you don't have anywhere else in the world, and it's an opportunity that most people will never ever have again. It's boys walk out of here after a year, after two, they feel accomplished, they've grown, they've made friends. It's not like they leave the yeshiva and we're finished, that's it, they're out the door, they move on to the next step. We're constantly involved with them. They call for advice. They call for just to stay connected. Amen. The Rashiv himself was my Shadchan, one of the Rebbeim, and his wife worked with me very closely on getting a wonderful job that I have today. I have a tremendous Akarsatov for the Rebbeim, for the casual that they've made with me and the constant growth that I maintain today and much of the success that I have today is owed to the band themselves. I think the, the main point of the family, the reason why we're all able to stay together so well is because we have such a good leader, such an incredible leader. And those Shiva takes, takes also more than any other Rebbeim, take a special interest in every single Bukhar. And we're very much of a father figure to everyone here. And a father figure you keep a cashier with always. I enjoy the atmosphere, the guys, I miss it a lot, I miss the rabbis, I miss, the, I miss everything. <laughs> AJ, it's one one big happy family. AJ is like nothing else. It's great, Shiva. And everyone's like a brother to each other. Exactly the place for me. And then the day you'll be turned from a boy to a man. AJ changed my life. Fabulous. <laughs> Oh,